What do you see here? Various US military units, right? Can you tell who's who? Can you tell which are the Marines, the Army, Navy, Air Force? To a few eagle-eyed people, maybe, but in general, no. All these troops are wearing M81 Woodland uniforms, so unless you're up close, you probably wouldn't be able to differentiate between the branches. Is this a problem? The United States Marine Corps thought so in the late 1990s decided to do something about it, which leads us into our first video covering the creation of MARPAT, the Marine Corps' own camouflage pattern. If you haven't already, check out the introduction video to understand the format of all future videos in greater detail. For those that don't feel like it, here's a brief breakdown. In this first video, I'll be covering the Marine Corps' MARPAT camouflage. It will touch on equipment and gear that go along with it, but generally be about the camo, with the other pieces being covered in later videos. At some point, I'll post a supplementary video showcasing some pieces, their details, some other random facts, and most importantly, the cost and where to buy them. So without further ado, since 1981, Practically every branch of the U.S. military had been using the standard M81 woodland pattern, along with the U.S. six-color chocolate chip and later the U.S. tricolor desert pattern for more arid desert regions. Regardless of the area, most branches of the U.S. military wore the same patterns while operating in the same environments. Aside from things such as insignia, patches, rank, and branch-specific equipment like the Marine's eight-pointed hat, one could not differentiate the branches if seen side by side or mixed together. With this in mind, along with the need to develop a more effective camouflage, the U.S. Marine Corps began researching a new distinct pattern for general use. This sentiment was best stated by a Marine Corps spokesperson at the launch of its new camouflage in 2002. We wanted to be instantly recognized as a force to be reckoned with. We want them to see us coming a mile away in our new uniforms. Of course, this means in the instances where they want to be seen, any other time would pretty much defeat the purpose. In April of 2000, a team led by Dr. Timothy O'Neill began development on a new pattern. O'Neill, who had been experimenting with and researching camouflage patterns and concealment techniques since a dual-text field trials in 1977, set initial objectives the new design needed to meet. After a testing period, his team had narrowed down the initial list of around 150 separate patterns to three, an older version of the Rhodesian brushstroke, and two different styles of tiger stripe. These three samples were then redone with different colors and shapes in an attempt to improve their concealment effectiveness in various environments. This inevitably led to the creation of the Digital Marine Pattern, or as it's more commonly known, MARPAT. This would become the fourth official creation of a digital camouflage pattern behind the U.S. Army's dual-text camo created in 1977, Canada's CAD Pat in 1996, and Guy Kramer's SAS Band Pixel Pat in 1998. However, it would become only the second officially issued on a large scale to a nation's military force, Canada being the first. Now, what I just said is one story of how MARPAT came to be. There is another that states the pattern was taken from the Canadians and altered. As you can see here, when put side by side, MARPAT and CADPAT look almost identical as far as the design goes. The Marine Corps had taken great interest in Canada's research and development of CADPAT, but claimed it did its own research and stated that its pattern was influenced by a tiger stripe pattern as well as Canada's digital pattern. However, CADPAT's project manager stated that the Marine Corps directly requested the Canadian government share the Canadian pattern, which was done through a bilateral military exchange agreement. Regardless of what actually happened, by 2001 a pattern had been developed and the Marine Corps began phase two by developing the actual uniform. This new uniform was dubbed the Marine Corps Combat Utility Uniform, or MCCUU for short. Over the trial period, numerous variations of jackets and pants were issued to troops, along with the famous eight-pointed utility cap, a boonie hat, a leather rough out boot with the Marine Corps symbol known as the EGA, short for Eagle Globe and Anchor, and finally gaiters, which boasted a zip-up back and lace-up side. Some uniforms had drastic differences, such as a zippered front versus a button front, and a zip-off removable sleeve versus regular ones. Additionally, there were many other subtle differences such as snap button, pocket closures, velcro closures, and zippered closures. As the trials went on, corpsmen who were issued the experimental and prototype pieces were urged to really put them through their paces and give constant feedback on what worked and what didn't. Four camouflage patterns were tested during this phase, a woodland marpat, a desert marpat, an urban marpat, and a modified Vietnam-era tiger stripe. Participants were able to vote on what they liked and what they didn't towards the end of the testing and according to one corpsman, the tiger stripe was favored by a majority of troops, but the decision was ultimately decided by the higher-ups. In the end, two MARPAT patterns were chosen, the woodland and the desert. 
The woodland had undergone slight changes in coloration, but ultimately remained the same with its three colors, green, black, and coyote brown. The desert pattern changed a little bit as well. As you can see here, the original pattern included lightish black bits, which were ultimately changed to a lighter brown color, which went along better with the other three colors. Coyote brown was included in both patterns so that all equipment such as vests, pouches, bags, and so on could be made in one color and could be used alongside both patterns. Additionally, the Marine Corps EGA symbol was embedded into both versions of the camouflage. MARPAT was then patented on June 21, 2001. One MCCUU style uniform was picked up, patented, and became standard issue on November 7, 2001. The official uniform was debuted on January 17, 2002 at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina, and the transition between old uniforms and new was completed on October 1, 2004. The final version consists of a button-up front closure, two shoulder button pockets, and two Velcro chest pockets. The decision for the shoulder and chest pockets to be at a slant was done so that they could be utilized even if a corpsman was wearing body armor or any sort of large vest or gear. This avoided an issue that past traditional BDUs would run into where its four front pockets would become blocked by any additional gear. Unsurprisingly, the eight point cap and boonie hat remained while the leather rough out boot was changed to a cowhide leather and nylon fabric mix. Finally, the gaiters were left retired. In 2004, Dr. O'Neill and Guy Kramer of Hyperstealth Biotechnology Corporation were contracted to develop a new snow camouflage for the Marine Corps. After reviewing a large number of military and commercial snow patterns, the team came up with over 30 different prototypes, three of which were presented to the Marine Corps Scout Sniper School. After rigorous studies and input, the final pattern was reworked into what is now known as Snow Marpat, which consists of a white base and a subtle gray digital fractal array to help break up the white. The new pattern was issued to Marine Reserve troops at Elmendorf Air Force Base in Alaska and the Mountain Warfare Training Center in November of 2006. There it would go under final evaluations before it was issued to troops in the form of overparkas, pants, and bag covers. So that should do it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful or helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe or check back in the future for my next video, which will continue the U.S. military's transition into digital camouflages with the U.S. Army's answer to MARPAT, their universal camouflage pattern, a.k.a. UCP.